All right, Tony here with iDesign Memories. Um, just going to be doing some things here to see if we can figure out how to use this new ATEM Mini Pro. And what I'm doing right now is finding my graphics. So we can utilize those. Still getting used to um, how it works, but uh, there we go. Got some graphics there. Again, this is Tony Loeb with iDesign Memories. Um, watching the, my audio and everything right now. So uh, I've got camera one, which is a uh, Sony AX700. Um, absolutely love it. I've done tons of, of live stream with it. Um, do mostly sports, sporting events, things like that. Uh, special events, uh, some um, music type things. I've done some um, interviews at birthday parties, things like that. Um, this next year, of course, with our current situation with COVID and etc., then uh, you know we've got uh, things that, that aren't working. Uh, as we've expected them to, but uh, got an external mic on there. Uh, it's not the Rode, it's the cheap version of the Rode, and off the top of my head, I'm not sure exactly what it is. If I remember, I'll try to add it down in the, uh, in the comments in the bottom. Um, let's see, right now, uh, I've also got my computer screen, and um, here's the media. That was a media that I just pulled in, and what I'm going to do now is pull this over. This is what they call a bug, so um, we'll bring that on air. I'm trying to figure out how to use the um, uh, the key over here. When I hit the key, I get like a whole white screen. So I'm I'm, I'm obviously not quite figured that out yet. I'm using the the downstream key, and I think this key. Uh, on this, um, let me just check something here. There may be a way to uh, change that. Let's see. Multi view, that's not going to do us any good. Labels, you can go in and change the, the labels that show up on your uh, multi view. Output media, yeah. Hyperdeck won't help, and remote's not going to help. General. Okay, nothing there. All right, we'll go over here to, um, right now we're showing 0.8 megabytes per second down here, one megabyte per second. I've got it set on um, medium, which should be 4.5 megabytes per second up to that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, obviously, we're not getting anywhere near that, and my I've got pretty fast internet, or supposed to have, so uh, not real sure what's going on there. But uh, that, that's for a, another another look. Um, okay. Luma, Chroma, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that there's probably some things I can go in here and change because uh, obviously if that key, when I hit the key button, it doesn't pull up what I've got in the downstream key, that's uh, uh, that's somewhat of a problem, I think. But anyway, well, I'm sure it's just something I need to figure out. But for right now, uh, you saw some things happening there at the beginning, and I'll show you that right now. And I've Need to turn that audio off. <clears throat> I was probably playing all the way through while I was trying to talk. A lot of buttons to keep up with, I tell you. But uh, right now I've got camera two, which is kind of an overview, and this is the, uh, the player that I'm using to play uh, background. Uh, I'm going to pull this out right now and put this in. I'm going to put this on follow video because I don't need, the only time I need to have that audio going is when it's uh, actually working. So we're going to go back to three and uh, this should be the, uh, the music playing here. It's kind of quiet so we'll pull it up just a little bit. And, uh, 
to do that there's buttons here uh, for the audio up and down I've, there's all kinds of videos out there showing all the details of what's going on but what I'm trying to accomplish is uh, really see this in a, a real-world setting and see how it's working uh, this is my basic setup um, right now I'm using a laptop I'm not thrilled about using a laptop because I go very mobile basically when I go out I've got my monitor uh, everything on a tripod I've got two cameras on a tripod I've got my monitor on a tripod I've got a little table um, that attaches to the tripod that the A10 Mini Pro goes on I've got an under strap um, I think they call it a I don't remember what it's called, um, but it's just basically a, 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 a stone um, holder. It's um, for putting, basically putting weights on the tripod, but what I'm using it for is to put uh, a power bank and other things that, that, uh, that I've got along um, for the ride, so to speak. So uh, anyway, this is uh, input one. We've got input two, back to input three, and then right now input four is the computer. Um, I'm more interested in having uh, something besides a computer, so uh, what we'll do here is I'm going to do a quick switch out of four and show you another angle. Still got my ATM Mini. Um, and if you, you would think four inputs would be enough, but uh, I'm tempted to, to pull it back out of the box and uh, uh, use it. Oop, that's not working because I turned the camera off. Here's camera four, which is an overhead view of the A10 Mini. So, uh, like I was talking about a while ago, these are your volume buttons. Turn your volume up and down. Uh, audio follows video means when I switch here, there's a video that pulls the audio along with it, but then when I switch away, it's rid of that audio. So, um, one of the things that, that without, probably the biggest um, thing that I miss with just the basic setup and having to not and having to come up with some sort of a, uh, a workaround, and I just realized I didn't um, hit record, so I'm gonna hit record. Um, and I can tell now by on air we're up to 4.6 um, um, megabytes per second, <clears throat> but the cache is. Um, at 70 percent so that means uh, my internet speed is not quite keeping up with that i did notice earlier i did a, a six megabit per second um, and the cache must be working phenomenal because uh, what that does is it puts the video and your stream in an internal memory and then allows it to catch up um, so that you don't drop frames and such and I noticed watching the, uh, the stream on YouTube, it looked perfect. Uh, so there wasn't any, any issues there. So, uh, you know, just mainly what I want to do on this one, show how I've got it hooked up. We've got uh, a laptop. I've got a little SWIT uh, 4K uh, portable monitor. Uh, uses um, the Sony style batteries. Um, has a quarter 20 on it so it's easy to attach to the tripod um, and then this little media player that uh, what's cool with it is um, like I said I've got, I've got that playing right now so we'll swap out and I'll put my see what I've got the beauty of multi view is um, It'll pop up on the screen. Okay, I've got a lower, an animated lower third. So let's see if I can remember how to get this in here. We don't want the upstream. I want the downstream key. 
and I'm going to use camera three. So right now, you're still going to see the graphic. I hit that, it takes it off here. And I'm using, it's called overhead. It's actually uh, uh, different. I don't have your bowl to wash it out. Where is it? Okay, so we're, um, that's still running. <clears throat> I've, I've got, I'm calling it overhead. It's uh, actually camera three, but, um, it's not currently on air, but if I put it on air, the downside is is timing. Um, it doesn't just uh, play the graphic; it's it's constantly looping. So uh, uh, I have a remote control for that, so I'm going to stop it, and obviously now it's, uh, we got play, and I'm looking over here, and that's not working like I want, so I'm going to Pull the card out, it's set to automatically run. So what I'm gonna do is let it run once in my preview and turn it off. Well, tried to pause it, but it didn't pause. Apologies for uh, this, but uh, you know, this is what uh, I think learning is about, is, is kind of sharing as we go along here. Um, because there's a lot of videos that I've watched, and as I see those videos, um, um, you can tell it's, it's, it's practice and everything goes, and everything works perfectly. Um, <clears throat> sadly, several of the people that are online don't spend a lot of time and detail really explaining how they did it and how they got everything working um, the way that it should. So uh, that, that's my goal, is as I'm... Um, going through these things uh, I guess I could spend more time and, and learn how to do it and then when I go live it'll be perfect but uh, um, frankly I don't think that's the the best way to do it um, you know for example one of the things I'm noticing here in my camera angle is I'm constantly looking over here at this side so that tells me that I probably instead of having the camera here where I'm looking at it have it over here where I can have better uh, eye contact with you the viewer so uh, anyway, those will be some, some things that we've adjusted. Uh, I've added my lighting. I uh, didn't have that before, and it just it looked really, it uh, didn't look too great. So uh, got the lighting going, um, and we'll pull this back up. Lower third, one, two, three, My assumption is those are things that I'm going to be able to use um, uh, Stream Deck for. 
Um, it's also something that I'm looking at. Um, Black Magic makes a, um, uh, let's see, it's in here. Go back up here to outputs. Let's see, Hyperdeck. There's a uh, Hyperdeck Studio that, as I understand, you can come in, have lots of different videos. Where right now I'm just I'm putting um, a different video. SD card, so I'm putting them on there with a label. Um, then when I pull it out and put the next one in, I know what's going to play. Um, and you know, in all honesty, that's not horrible because it's uh, very affordable to do it that way. I think this uh, little media player was like thirty-nine dollars, so um, you know, not a not a not a bad way to go. So. So uh, anyway, that's kind of where we are at this point in time. Um, I'm going to wrap it up and uh, let's see what still I have loaded. We'll pull this one in. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to a still and sign off and thank you for uh, uh, being here with me as I'm getting uh, familiar hey, with uh, what's going on with um, the ATM Mini Pro um, and the different ways that you can set it up. You know, obviously, if you're live streaming, you know, one uh, component is, and that's what I'm planning on doing, lots of practice um, because, uh, and, you know, if you're just switching cameras, no big deal, but the, the thing of bringing in graphics and doing things like that, uh, I'm going to look more into uh, macros and things of that nature to see uh, if they're going to, you know, come into, into play or it may just be using a stream deck. But uh, anyway, I'm going to move on to working with macros next. So this is, once again, Tony with iDesign Memories. Let me pull this up right quick. Just as you can see, okay, right now I've got the key. Ah, because the key I had switched over to uh, video uh, on channel three. So what I've got to do here is go back and go back to my media player for the downstream key. And see, once again, that's uh, acting a little strange. We'll go, there we go, take it off of pre-multiplied and that works. So, Tony Logue with iDesign Memories. We're signing off and uh, come back, tune in once again when we get to what we're gonna be doing with uh, this new ATM Mini Pro.